What Unsolved Mystery Gives You the Creeps, Part 3. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow if you enjoy the video. Account 1. Late to the party here, but I have one. In my college's town, there was a freshman a few years ago who went missing. He was found beaten to death in an industrial park. The last time his friends saw him, they were all party hopping. His last tweet was something like, Someone pick us up, we're gonna die. No one has come forward. No leads have been found. Account 2. The Dancing Plague of 1518. The gist of the story is that in the modern era, an unknown woman entered a village and started dancing in front of the residents of the village. With no music backing her, she just suddenly started dancing. Days passed and she was still going. Other people join her and dance along with her. Some even die of exhaustion. To this day, it is still unknown what caused people to do this, and that really freaks me out. Also, in the 1500s, many of Europe's forests were being cut for firewood, and many mysterious viruses would emerge and afflict the human population from time to time, such as this dancing disease or the sweating sickness that even killed royals in Tudor England. Also, the dancers would express anger or even threaten with violence if you didn't join them. IRC, they shared an aversion to the color red, and dancers in red clothing would make them vastly uncomfortable. Count three. What was investigative journalist Michael Hastings working on before his car suddenly decided to kill him via remote hacking? He had already taken down General McChrystal and said he was about to go underground because he found out something big. He even reported to his neighbor that he thought someone was tampering with his car. People believe he was working on exposing something about the CIA, and after the Vault 7 leaks, we found out the CIA definitely has and uses technology to remotely hack and control cars. So what did Hastings find out that got him killed? Account 4. The current unsolved mystery of the Seminole Heights killer in Tampa. He shot and killed four random people in the neighborhood so far. The city is very edgy right now. Reward is up to 100K. I hope they find him soon. Account 5. Those two students who got lost in some woods and there were photos on their phone from like eight days after they disappeared? Shit freaks me out. Edit. That one is mostly solved. No foul play. They think they wandered off the trail. One got hurt. The other attempted to document location. Both of the girls' cell phones attempted to call emergency services many times but never got signal. They both likely died of exposure. Account 6. The case of a 15-year-old girl, Monique Daniels. Her parents didn't even report her missing. I was so interested in this unsolved case because the mother was my algebra middle school teacher and I had always felt like there was something off about her. I personally believe that the stepfather murdered her and the mother helped cover it up. It's an unsettling read. Account 7. The Babushka Lady. A Russian-dressed woman who stood and took pictures of JFK moments after his assassination. She did not flee with the rest of the crowd, just stood and took pictures. She then walked off, and her identity was never discovered. The question of her identity has gone on to become one of the most puzzling questions, giving rise to many theories and speculations. Account 8. There was someone that was eating everyone's lunches at the first job I ever worked. They basically almost restarted the Salem witch trials over it. Then at my next job, the same thing happened. Any job I go to, there is always someone eating people's lunches straight out of the fridge. I don't know why someone would do that, especially since every job I've worked has provided free lunch. Account 9. The British family killed a few years ago in the French Alps in a car. Two little girls survived laying underneath their parents' bodies. There's been theories of a cyclist, and more recently they arrested the father's brother, but nothing has come of it. Somebody shot them all. We just don't know who or why. Account 10. Me and a friend were exploring in a national park close to where we live. We came across this really strange section of trees that was so dense you couldn't see the sky, and the branches all seemed tangled together to create a sort of natural ceiling. We went in at about 2 p.m. Somewhere inside this strange area, we came across an old burial ground with a plaque that talked about the natives who were killed by disease and buried here. We stuck around for maybe 30 minutes max and left. When we got out of the strange thicket of trees, it was pitch black outside. And this is in northern Canada where it doesn't get dark for a very long time in the summer. We ran back to our car and checked the time and it was 1.20 in the morning. 
We had lots of missed calls from worried family, but to this day, no one believes us. Count 11. One of the recent plane crashes or disappearances in the Pacific with no survivors found, IDK. At some point, someone got a text from a survivor. Let's call him Bob because survivor is a weird word to repeat. Bob claimed to have put his phone in his butt. He claimed that he and other survivors were taken by a bunch of men in suits, their faces covered, drugged, and brought to some kind of bunker on warehouse where they were being kept in the dark. He sent one text explaining all of this. They tracked the text, and it showed up as being somewhere near the crash site, probably on island. Bob ended the text with basically, I know I'm gonna die, bye. The text went viral for about 10 minutes, and that was the last you heard of Bob, and shortly after, the search was called off. I don't know how true any of it was. If it was a hoax, what happened to the person that received the text? Nothing. Account 12. East Area Rapist, Original Night Stalker. He was so creepy, and the recorded phone call of his to one of his victims creeps me out more than most other things I've come across. It bothers me so much that he's never been caught. Account 13. The Dennis Martin case. An unofficial witness testimony of the Key family suggests he was abducted and carried away on the back of a large, hairy man. Honestly, any of the missing 411 cases. They're pretty fascinating if you take them with a grain of salt and check the facts as you find them suspicious. Account 14. Really late, but here goes. My grandma and granddad told me of something which happened in their village during the 1940s. Apparently, in 1942, a German bomb landed in a field outside the village. The next morning, five people from the village, about 60 people in total, had went missing. At first, the police and villagers thought they had been killed by the bomb. However, there were no body parts, dot clothing, anywhere near the bomb site. As time went on, their houses were sold and people moved on. All of them were living by themselves and had few no relatives. However, in 1947, two of the five showed up dead in Germany. A car crash had taken the lives of both of them. I tried researching this back in 2015, but couldn't find any credible articles. The only evidence I could find of such thing was a report of an air raid near the village on the exact day it happened. Account 15. Not so much creeps me out as makes me sad. But there is a listing on the Doe Network, an organization dedicated to identifying unidentified bodies, for an older woman found dead in a section of a cemetery where children are buried. She had a tiny Christmas tree beside her and was listening to a Jeff Foxworthy tape. In her pocket was money with a note reading for the coroner. I always wonder if that woman's child or grandchild was buried there, and she decided to go and be with them forever. <laughs>